Hello everyone. Welcome back to Maximum Automation. Today in this video, I'm going to demonstrate that how you can get the session details from the Selenium 4 grid. If you are now using Selenium grid 4 and if in past, if you have used grid 3, then in both the versions, there is a change to get the session details from the grid URL. There is a little bit of change in the URL to get the session details. So today we're going to see how we can get the session details using Selenium grid 4. Basically, we need session details to get the information related to a session where our tests are running. For example, if you want to know on which node the current session is running, then you can get the node IP or machine IP where your tests are running so that you can perform further operations onto that machine or node. To see how to get the session details, first of all, you have to set up Selenium Grid on your machine or VM. I have already created a video where you can get the details of how to set up a Selenium Grid on your machine. So you can watch those videos. I have provided the link in the description and you can find the link on the top of the screen as well. Once you set up the grid, then you'll be able to see this Selenium Grid Console. Here you can see this is my Selenium Grid Console page where I can see that I have two nodes connected. And if I go to a session, then currently there are no session running at the moment. Now, what I'll do to create a session, I'll create a web driver object using the remote web driver by providing the Selenium grid URL. And then a new session will be created. After that, when a session is created, then we can get the session ID of that particular session. And then we'll see how we can get the session information by using that session ID. So to do that, let me go back to the project. Here, what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to create iWebDriver object by using remote web driver. And into this remote web driver, I'll pass the URL of Selenium Grid. I'll copy the URL and we'll paste it over here. And we'll convert the URL to a URI object. After that, the second parameter requires the browser capabilities or you can say the browser options. Let's say I'm going to run my test on Chrome browser. So I'm going to create new Chrome options. And then I'll pass this option in the second parameter. Now I have initiated a driver object by using remote web driver, where I have passed the Selenium grid URL and the browser options. After that, what I need to do is I'll navigate to a web page. Let's say the web page is flipkart.com. So once I navigate to this URL, it will create a new session and we'll move to this Flipkart web page. And we can say that our test has started. Now, when my test has started running, then I can fetch the session ID. And to fetch the session ID, what I need to do is I can get the session ID by using web driver object. I have to cast my I web driver object with web driver. And then I can get the session ID. So this is the session ID property, which I can get by casting my driver object to web driver. And then this session ID I'll store into a session ID variable. So once my test is running, then it will return the session ID of that particular session, which it has created by initiating a remote web driver object. 
Now, once I have the session ID, then the next step is to get the session details. So basically, there is an API or a URL which you can hit or you can make a get request to get the session details. In that URL, we have to pass the session ID. And when we provide the correct session ID, then it returns the session details in response. So the next step is to create an HTTP request. And to do that, I'm going to use HTTP client object. After that, I'm going to create an HTTP response message to store the API response. By using the HTTP request object, I can make a get request. This is the method used for get request where we have to pass the API URL. Now let's talk about what will be the API URL. So let me go back to the grid console. To get the session details, I'll provide the URL in the browser. After the grid URL, we need to provide SE followed by sessions and then the session ID. Now let me pass any random session ID. You can see that it says invalid session ID because the session ID which I have provided was invalid. So the API returned in response and said that it is unable to find a session ID with this because there is no such session ID exist. This is the same URL which we're going to use to make a get call. So I'll provide this URL over here. And here against the session ID, I need to provide the session ID variable which will store the current session ID value. And after that, I can type dot result. This result will return the HTTP response message. And then let me print the response details into the console. Now in the console, it will print the result of the response message. And at last, let me quit the web driver object. Now, I'm going to put a breakpoint over here and then let me run my test. So the test has started and we can see the test is running. And it came to this breakpoint, which means a session has been started with remote web driver by using a Selenium grid URL. Now, if I move to Selenium Grid Console page, then here you can see that a session is running. And now if I copy this session ID, then what I can do is I can hit the session API in the browser. So let me provide the API URL where I'll pass the correct session ID this time. So you can see that. Here it provided all that information. It provided the session details in the JSON response. We can see it contains the session details like session ID, node IP, where the session is running, and the browser name and browser version. So all these informations are provided in response. And we can fetch these information by making an API call to the Selenium grid. Now let me go back to the project and let me continue the execution. Driver.quit is going to quit the web driver object. And the moment it quit the web driver object, we can see in the Selenium grid console as well that no session is running now because we hit the driver.quit. So the session is closed now. You can see that the test executed successfully. And if I move to the test logs, then you can see it printed the JSON response over here, where we can see the session details like session ID, browser name, 
platform name, the node IP where my session is running, and other information. Then you can fetch these information from the response by using any JSON parser. So this is how I can get the session details from Selenium Grid 4. I hope you like this video. Please put your comments in the comment box. Also, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Thank you.